Tell me your name. Hi sir, good morning. I'm mm-hmm. Akila. I'm from Hyderabad. Mm-hmm. I have completed my Masters of Computer Applications in St. Anne's Women's College mm-hmm. from Osmania University in 2022. And I have previously worked in Wipro as a senior associate from last one and a half year. And recently I have learned manual testing. Mm-hmm. I did project on that my uh, orange HRM. In that employee management will be there. Adding an employee, delete an employee, updating details. That all will be there in that. Okay. Uh, tell me your work experience as you have written this content review, right? So what yes. type of data that you are going to review as the data? There will be Google ad. Ads will be there. Mm-hmm. We will review that. There will be some conditions. Mm-hmm. By taking that conditions, we will review the ads. If that condition, uh, if that conditions are not satisfied, we will not that we will not uh, allow that ad to advertise. Okay. Now tell me what type of uh, problems that you are going to face whenever you are doing this content review. What type of challenges that you face when doing this work? Uh, sometimes the critical ads will be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can't uh, uh, judge that uh, easily. Okay, then what you will do? We will contact uh, uh, managers will be there. No? They will decide. So uh, on what basis you are going to categorize it? So is there any predefined document will be there to validate? Yes, documents will be there. By seeing the documents, there will be in that there will be conditions. We'll check that is satisfying or not. Uh, what you call those documents as? They will provide some decks for each and every content. What the document names you are going to call it as? Some adult contents will be there and some kids related ads, so I do, games I do, related ads. I do, I do agree that you are going to pro- see the document. What you call those document names? Ad related content name will be there on it. Okay. Now, games related means gaming con- gaming content uh, like, like that. Is, there is no any generic no, uh, no. name for the document? No. no. Okay. <clears throat> and you have written it, participated in regular team meetings and provided feedback on modification process and tools. Now, what is the modification process and tools that you have done it? Yeah, we can add any updates. If we, if we are doing a review, that time we are facing any issues. Mm-hmm. We can solve that issue means we will tell that up. We, we can say our ideas to our leads like this. We can do uh, changes in the tool like that. We can say, and they will consider it and, and they will say to the manager. Okay. If it is okay, they will consider. Investigation and resolve user complaints. What is uh, what many user complaints? Whatever user complaints you generally see. User will uh, uh, give complaints uh, through the mails. If any mistakes will be there, escalations. Yeah, I do agree, but you have reviewed, right? So after review only, then by you user will have a complaint on it. Which means, is there any, any not proper review will happen, or else? sometimes it will be happen, oh. and sometimes the new updates will be there. No, that time also. What about ex- uh, 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 ex- escalation that you have faced as of now? I didn't face any escalation. But you were written right. Uh, resolve the user complaint. Team members will face. No, that will be. Okay. So, what is the duration of your uh, project that you have done till now? It will from July 2023 to 2025 uh, April. But you are written March 2023. So, multiple knowledge, knowledge, and multiple program knowledge. What is the multiple program knowledge that you know? It only only Java you have. Java, you can... C, C plus plus. Database. I never asked to write a program as of now. What is the difference between C language and uh, Java language? Comparing to C language, advanced options will be there in the Java. What about options we are going to see that? What is the difference between a C language and a Java language? Oh, you have done masters in computer applications? Yes. Tell me, what are the differences? What can be the, the primary difference between a C language and Java language? Compilation process. Uh, what C language will try to compile, compile and what Java is trying to compile it? I'm not make sure about that. I looked into it. Okay. Uh, technical skills you written GitHub, right? Uh, tell me what about GitHub. In GitHub, we can store the data. It is like a drive. Mm-hmm. We can store our projects and project related data in that. A repositories we can create. So, what about good, good time management? Explain, give me that, that you have managed everything in time. First, I'll do the priority work. What is the priority work? That major pro- work will be there that I'll work first. Mm. And next, uh, uh, minor works I'll work. That will be easy to 
Okay, I think you, you work for around one and a half year, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, what are the key factors that we are going to do as a daily ta- daily activities? Tell me your daily activities when you go to the office. First, um, we'll check the mails, whatever we got. Okay. And any updates from any updates are there in that uh, uh, each and every uh, ads will be there, na no? different different contents. In that any uh, updates are there, daily updates will be there. We'll attend that meeting first. If any updates are there, they will explain. And if we have any doubts, we can ask. Okay, so uh, as you are done with this content review, right? Then, then why you left that company or uh, left I the project? I want to move to IT side. That is a non-IT. I mm-hmm. want to move IT, and uh, in the t- in the testing, I am interested. Uh, there will be challenges in the testing. That's why I am interested. Okay, what about challenges that you are going Daily to? Daily new new type of work we can learn in the testing. New challenges will be there. Mm-hmm. And sometimes with the documentation also we need to do the testing. That is a very interesting and challenging. Okay, tell me uh, as a testing point of view, you are good in manual process. Uh, <clears throat> tell me what are the uh, difference between retesting and regression testing. Uh, retesting is done when the defect is uh, raised by the QA. Mm-hmm. After fixed, uh, fixing the defect by developer. Mm-hmm. Is it correctly uh, fixed or not? Then we will do the retesting. Mm-hmm. Regression is uh, after uh, fixing that there will be connected modules will be there for mm-hmm. that component. That connected uh, modules or components are affected by that or not? Mm-hmm. If affected, we need to check that. That is regression. First, we'll do the retesting. After that, we'll do the regression. Okay. Retesting follows manual testing or automation testing. Manual. Why it never follows automation testing? If it is stable, then we will go for automation. Okay, unstable application, we never do automation? No. Why? After doing the manual test, if the application is stable, all the components are working. Mm-hmm. Uh, it uh, By checking two, three times, not mm-hmm. at one time, by checking two, three times, then we will move to the automation. The test cases will be given to the automation team, then they will do this. Okay, now let's take an example. You are testing an application, you found it a critical defect mm-hmm. that has to fix as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Okay, but the manager says that you need to provide QA sign off. Mm-hmm. You say that uh, manager is forcing us you to, to complete the testing with the defect itself. With then the what defect. you will do? Then what you will do? With the defect, we can't do that. But manager forces to do it. If we are doing that, uh, the product quality will be. Quality okay. product we can't release in the real world. Okay, now let's customer has also asked that you have to deliver the product with respect to defect only. It will be defect in the application, but customer has forces us to do it. Or to do or not. If do, why will do? If not, why you are not going to do? You do or not? I'll not do. You will not do? Sure. Yes. The customer forces you to do it. Okay. And uh, what is the difference between an agile process and waterfall model process? In waterfall model, uh, we can't add requirements in the middle, mm-hmm. and your, your client interaction will be the less. Will be less mm-hmm. after completing entire process. Then only we can test the application. Okay. But in agile, we can add requirements in the middle. Mm-hmm. User will interact uh, con- uh, daily basis, like continuously, mm-hmm. and testing will be after completing one phase. Testing can be done, so that is easy to rectify any errors are there. Okay. So what are the major disadvantages when dealing with agile process? There is a lack of documentation. Okay. If one pro- one application is completed, if again we want any uh, information for that application means there is a no documentation for that. We can't get that information. Mm-hmm. And uh, lack of uh, T- uh, time also time taking also why because daily we need to contact continuously with the clients means it is okay f- for contacting but it is more times we need to contact with time also it is taking more time okay good and uh, tell me what is meant by the de- defer defect and reject defect okay uh, defer means uh, they will keep it in hold means that it is not uh, priority we can mm-hmm. do it later also that is not major process then mm-hmm. ma- major task that's why they will keep it in differ. Developer will keep it in a differ. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, rejected means? Rejected means uh, if the if we are giving some application, uh, bec- uh, for example, it is ten pages like that means 
beyond that they are doing any any testing okay. any requirements they are taking beyond that means that is rejected or is uh, the qa is already created that defect again they are uh, creating one more defect on that means that is duplicate in the two scenarios it will be rejected who will reject reject the defect developer will reject why developer will reject the defect are sure the developer will reject the defect manager i think okay and uh, expired defect life cycle uh, there will be first new state will be there mm-hmm. there uh, defect will be created by the qa mm-hmm. afterwards it will be in open state mm-hmm. qa manager or team lead will be uh, assigning this uh, uh, defect to the developer with some comments then uh, developer will fix it okay after fixing uh, they will assign it to the qa and they will close the tent they will assign it to the qa if it is not taken then it will be come to the reject phase in the two fa- two types will be there duplicate and duplicate and duplicate and invalid ah uh, invalid so okay duplicate and invalid mm-hmm. invalid means uh, that is only uh, if the requirements are beyond that the uh, qa is taking beyond the requirements then it is uh, invalid duplicate means it is already created then it is closed afterward it is closed deferred one more state will be there deferred if it is not major task then Uh, developer will be keep it as a defers in defers defers state. Okay, now let's take example. Uh, you are doing agile process. We have ten requirements, or let's take we have twenty requirements, and your sprint duration will be of ten working days. On the last day, you haven't completed the user story, but on the next day you move to the next sprint. Okay. Then what you will do? The pending user story, what the user story user story will be happen for that. Because you are not completed in previous sprint, right? Then what you will do? Before going to the next sprint, we will complete that by it's, asking. It's not complete next sprint. That has not completed. But the uh, scrum master has moved that to the ne- next sprint. Then what about the pending user story? At last, we will complete that. But we are next sprint, right? We will add that into the next sprint. You have the privileges to add those requirements user story into the next sprint. No, firstly we will divide the sprints. We can't add like that. Then how can we? What what about the pending sprint which is not completed in the previous sprint? Then what we will do then? We will inform to our managers. Okay. Then what the next? We will ask some time for that and we will finish it. But how can we get there? See, we are started in next sprint, right? How can you make the sprint? The sprint will be it never be on hold. But what we will do that thing? For Before moving items. into the next sprint only, we will we will ask some time. Before moving into next sprint, see this there are ten people are there in the project. For only sake of one person, they can, nine people people cannot be hold right. A uh, one person we will allocate for that, and they will complete it, and they will move to next sprint. Okay, <clears throat> so my last question is: What is different between system designing and test designing? Okay, system designing will comes in the software development life cycle. Hmm. in this uh, all system architecture will be designed by the qa by the developer team member one of the team member will decide the uh, decide that architecture mm-hmm. in test designing um, in test designing qa team member will, uh, this is there in the software testing life in the testing life cycle mm-hmm. in that they will decide they will design the they will design the uh, Test cases and uh, test uh, scenarios. Who are they? Q A. Oh, okay. Any any more any questions? Uh, mm-hmm. I done with my interview. Do you have any questions? No, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Can leave.